Greetings and welcome back, one and all, to Robocraft and to the Not Hummingbird. No, I have decided that, uh, following my comments in the last episode, we shall call this the Red Kite, which is a bird of prey from Wales. Some would say it is the national bird of Wales. It's a very, very pretty bird, and it has got red in the name, thus somewhat fitting. I don't really feel that this is nearly elegant enough in the skies to bear the name, but uh, I, I fail to think of anything better to go with. So uh, we're going to be going with this. I mean, it certainly does, it does have a bird of prey kind of feel to it. And there have been a lot of people who've been saying that this reminds them of, of ships from Star Trek, such as uh, Klingon vessels and Romulan vessels. And th there's a certain bird of prey kind of uh, tradition amongst them as, as far as names go so you know what yeah we'll, we'll be going with this but uh i haven't really done too much off screen i've i've tapered the edges i've put a little bit of uh spit and polish on it but other than that i really haven't done much so uh we're gonna take this out and uh given that i really have nothing to spend my tech points on in this tier i am strongly considering moving up to tier 9. Now, again, this design was pretty much built from the ground up to be upgradable into the higher tiers. I wasn't expecting to go there quite this fast, but I feel that perhaps that's the next place for us to be. I don't think being in tier 8, because we're having to sacrifice a lot to stay here at this point, but we're going to have one or two more battles in tier 8 before we move on, so I shall see you in a fight. And welcome back. Let's get the uh, good lucks and have funs alls out there to everyone, not just to my team, of course. Now then, we're back on this map. I am actually quite fond of this map. It seems to uh, benefit my playstyle with this particular bot. Let's uh, let's see now. Ooh, rail flyer. Don't like that. Rail walker. Don't like that either. Oh, no. Don't want to have to deal with them. Wow, our medic was a bit ballsy being all the way over there. Why are you over there, medic? There's no one to medic in that direction yet. You crazy fool, you. Uh, where are you? I cannot see you in the sky. You can, however, see me. Let's get back down, shall we? Hopefully he has been taken out of the sky. No, no, no. Climb, climb. Oh, wow. You really do like to go down hard when you go down. Right, okay, let's uh, be on the move. We're not going to rush out there. This ship is not made to be a brawler. Let's uh, just tiptoe around here, keep an eye on our enemies. It looks like we have got a lot of rails to deal with. Though two of them have been taken out for the seams of it. There we are. We've got one over there. And plasmas for you. Is that going to hit? No. But I don't think it was actually far off. Let's uh, try that again. Up we go. Into the skies. And fire! Is that going to hit? Yes, it did. Fantastic. He's on the move. He doesn't like the fact that someone is shooting him. Fair enough. I don't like it either when I'm a sniper. Right. I don't actually like it when I'm anything. Let's uh, go around this way. We've got an enemy. No, it's already been dealt with. We have an enemy up there. Why has no one spotted him yet? That is rather silly. Fire! We missed terribly. Okay, well, uh, I should be able to finish you off, I imagine, about there. There we go, fantastic. And we need to start spotting these guys a little bit more aggressively. Let's get you spotted. No, I failed. Fair enough. Alright, that was a terrible miss. And there we've got an SMG copter. He's just going to poke his head out every now and then. Send us a little bit of uh, firepower, but nothing too nasty. Let's go around this way. We've already taken out four of the enemy team. We've lost one of ours. And it's actually a good start. What's our health like? We're actually fairly good. Our snipers are doing a fantastic job up there. There we are. Let's see if I can't give you something to think about. There we go. You didn't like that, did you? No. I don't imagine you did. And uh, let's try to get up there again. Has he gone? I think he has actually skedaddled. That's a little bit of a shame in a way. Hello, rail sniper. See if I can't uh, give you something to think about. Haha, -ha, I moved far too quickly going down. Maybe not quickly enough. Okay, my hovers are engaged. I need some help. Medic. No, medic, you, you go the wrong way. Oh, well. I, I'm all right at the moment, I suppose. We can't quite gain the uh, sort of height that I need. Medic. Medic. I'm, I'm shooting you. Medic. 
give me medicing aids. Please. Oh, medic, I'm being shot because I'm trying to get your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much. I could have just asked, of course. Yes. Language. Avak, remember? Use it. Those mouth words. They have risen our kind out of, out of the mud. And you are refusing to use them. Fire! Okay, we missed there. There's only one of them left, though. But no, never mind. They're gone. <laughs> game over. Good game. All. I don't feel I contributed too much there. I did take uh, one person out, but anyone else could have done that as well. I mostly was just faffing around. I apologize. 20,000 RP, though. Not a small amount for uh, faffing around. But with that said... I think it's time to say goodbye to the low tiers. The easiest way to say goodbye to the low tiers is to equip some higher tier weapons. We'll equip them on the sides, I think. Oh, actually, I should have done that with the uh, mirror line. That'll do. Well, in fact, you know, let's just take these off. There we go. Now I have the mirror line on there, so I know it's symmetrical. There. That should be good. Uh, we do not have anything else I can add there. However, we do have a bot that has got some hovers on it that I would very much like to take. Uh, it's not going to be on the fire, so it will be on the evaculants. Uh, not sure about... Well, we are now in the same tier, so it doesn't really matter too much, I suppose. I will uh, be nabbing these. Sorry, evaculants, but I'll, I'll give them back later on. The red kite has a need for these hovers. All right, let's uh, get... Actually, are these the same ones? No. Haha. -ha. Okay, we need to push all of this back a little bit. It won't be a problem at the rear of the vessel, because obviously we didn't put a cage around it. And just as well, now that we think about it. There we go. That is a lot of hovering capacity. We can also upgrade our radar, which no longer needs to be this piddling little radar. It can actually be a proper big one. There we are. Fantastic. We can also now start adding all of the embellishments that I couldn't add before because they were too expensive. Oh, glorious days have returned at last. Uh, let's add these in there. Any more around here? Not really. All right, well, we need to buy the components. For, uh, actually, you know, we've got a lot of money here. Let's go and uh, splurge on some of these. One more. There we go. Fantastic. We'll be using you to finish off the shaping. One, two, three. All right. Not bad at all. Uh, okay, I'm fairly happy with that. We are obviously going to have to start thinking about increasing the armor if we're going to be in this high of a tier. That is a bit of a pain, but I think we should be okay Right, there we go. That's uh, all sorted, both sides. Now, shielding. We could add some shielding, possibly. Now, the possibility that I'm considering... Uh, it doesn't, isn't going to work. The nose is too big. That's a shame. Or well, something like that. But uh, what about these? Could they fit maybe up like that? No, not quite. Hmm. We could sacrifice some of our guns for it, but I mean, we could get rid of you and have shields along here. But I'm not sure that that's really the right move. I think it's better to have the guns, honestly. Um, what about the tier eights? How would they fit in this? Could have them there again. Just not the right sort of thing, in my opinion. Uh, let's rotate this around that way. I think that's the way we would want them. Nope, wrong way. So we'd want them on this side then. There we go. Um, I mean, I can move this across. That's not a problem. Could I? I can't have anything there because of the shield, obviously. Um, could I have another one back here? No. Is there anywhere I could get one? No, not really. Uh, no, I'd have to push it back one more, at least. No, I don't think those shields are, are going to fit with this design. They're just too bulky. This this vehicle was not built for shields. 
I think we ju are just going to have to increase the uh, power of our plasmas, really, to make this, to keep this uh, competitive in this tier. There's a lot of other things we can improve. We can, of course, improve the armor blocks themselves, and that is certainly on the books, but just not yet. Um, I would actually like to do this, so let's uh, place that there. Something like that. Yeah, I, li I like that. I actually really like that. I don't know why, but I do. Um, we could have a yellow stripe going across there, but then again, I'd be pulling the armor down by doing that, which is not really what I would like to be doing. Uh, let's do this. There we go. And in fact, we may as well do it there as well. Okay, that has made this a bit less awesome looking, but... We could have a corner piece there to solve that problem. Okay, well, I'm happy with this. I'm going to take us out into a fight, and we're going to see how well we do. Okay, well, welcome back. Now, I brought you back early this time because it's pretty much the exact opposite of a comment I made uh, a little while ago. That is, that SMGs were fairly underrepresented, and yet in tier 9, not so. I wonder if the tier 9 SMGs have just not felt the same uh, the same ouch as the the other tiers. Maybe there are going to be some uh, TX1 SMGs in here, or perhaps they automatically put you into tier 10. I'm fairly certain they do. Okay, it looks like there's a, a bit of uh, tactics being discussed here. Which way we're going to go? Right, left, or mid? Looks like we're going mid. Very well. I'll follow the rest of the uh, group. And indeed, I am recording. Right. I'm going to stick Ooh, there was someone over there. Got you. There's someone over there. My lord. You were fast off the draw. Let's uh, try and stick around in here for now. We're going to need some medics. The rest of our team has barely even moved. Hmm. I'm not liking this at all. They've gone around. It looks like you've just launched. And you're ducking down. Okay, this is my possibly my chance. Let's see if we can do it. No, no, we flubbed it. Drat. Alright. We've got a fair bit of SMG fire coming this way. It looks like most of the enemy team is in there. Right, I'm gonna have I'm gonna be a bit risky here and fire! Got a good shot there, but they are all here after us. This is not good. We need to uh, start wiping out some of this firepower. I'm not sure where the rest of our team are. They are sleeping on the job, it seems. Let's uh, spin around. Like, we can possibly... Oh, no. No, come on. Into the sky. And fire. Take out this guy's walking legs. Oh, he's going to wreck me if I'm not careful. Yes, we have been taken down. And fire. Nope, not happening. I've lost... One, two of my uh, hover blades. I cannot get back into the sky. No, there we are. No, no, no. It's going to flip me. Ah, no. Stupid hover blades. This is why I don't have you. All right, come on. At least my guns are facing the right way, though. All right, come on, hover blades. You can do this. You know you can. They poke their head around the corner. We'll take a shot. Hello. Bingo. Okay. Whoa, 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 what's happening? Ah, Hollow Blaze, you're working against me. You traitorous dogs. Oh, dear. Well, my medic dies with honor. F-Jack. Oh, no, it wasn't F-Jack. Sorry, my medic is in, in India. Well done, F-Jack, though. I'm sure you did die with honor. Okay. <laughs> oh, my lord. That was not the best start to our career in T9, but uh, I do feel that there was a bit of uh, shenanigans with our team, though. They just weren't moving. Quite a lot of them were just uh, caught asleep at the wheel, I fear. Still, 19,000 for a pretty big failure there, in my opinion. We got one assist, at least, and six scouts. I guess that uh, helps make up for it a little bit, but uh, we're going to jump straight in to another battle. And welcome back. Okay, we are getting back to the point where uh, SMGs are not dominating the uh, battle. We've got three SMGs on each team. Or four on the enemy team, actually. Two plasmas on each team. 
Two rails on ours, one rail on the enemy, but three medics on each team. So this should uh, be an interesting one. It's probably going to be uh, a long, drawn-out battle with three medics. And that is that is a point. Perhaps I should uh, give the red kite an opportunity to show it us its medicking skills. Okay, fire dragon lords, well done. Oh yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. It's nice to have uh, other people who say good luck, have fun in the game as well. Ooh, there is an enemy, bit of a brave one. He is going to shoot me and might even hit. No, he is a little bit out of range there. We've got a uh, sniper though that I don't like the look of. Let's try and avoid that if possible. He is up there somewhere. Oh no, he's way up on the mountain. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try and uh, race across this firing line here. And see what's coming around this side. Because there is something I fancy. No, maybe not. I thought there was, but uh, apparently no. Okay, we're going to be brave. We're going to climb. Climb, climb, climb. And uh, launch the plasmas. And then duck down. Goodbye. There we go. Oh, they managed to clip me. Well done. And there's a lot of plasma coming this way. And there is someone racing along in that direction. That I don't like the look of. Hello over there. Let's get back up and take another shot. Again, this is a war of attrition. I just need to work out where I need to fire to get my plasmas in the right sort of position. Okay, Heart Malbus, don't like you. Let's uh, retreat a little bit. Get a bit of healing if we can get some. Hello, Nord? No, Nord is not feeling like being a doctor today. He woke up today and was like, well, I, I could heal people, but at the same time, I could just dance. And I'm in the mood for dancing. And who can argue with a fellow who is in touch with his desire to dance? I certainly wouldn't. It would be very rude of anyone to tell you you can't dance when you want to. Now let's uh, duck down again. We are being flanked, though. This is not good. I'm going to move with this group, see what we can do. Hopefully don't get shot too badly on the way. Oh, dear. There's someone up there. I said hopefully not get shot too badly on the way. Ah, oh, you've taken out all of my large rotors. That's not so great. Thankfully, hover blades. <laughs> not enough, though. The rotor is pulling me down. In the best possible way. Possibly. I'm not sure. Let's see. Can I get a shot off on you about there? No, I have rotated the wrong way. Well, that was awesome for a moment. I was facing the right way and everything. Oh, ah, no, no, no. They don't half work against each other in a way. Okay, I need to climb. I need to climb and take you on if I'm able to. Reverse will pull my uh, belly up a little bit. Fire! That failed. Okay, this is a good good place. Fire! Damn it! I'm just not doing enough damage. All right, he's gone down over there. I could probably take him out at this stage. He has lost mobility, but probably not guns. No, he has not lost guns at all. So I don't really want to uh, mess around with you. I'll just shoot you with the AOE. I don't need to be right in front of you. I'm going to play this sensibly. I'm just going to whittle you down, you little scallywag there. That's right. I don't have to get in your firing line. I can just kill you like this. Okay, I feel a little bit bad about this. Let's move. Okay, I'm not feeling as bad anymore. There is someone up there trying to stop me. You cannot. Did I kill him already? Have I got a kill? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm coming out. I'm going to try and take you on if I am able to. Pull my belly up. And about there. Oh, that was a bad miss. And that is probably going to be my death. Okay, I needed to really get that shot. Ah, oh, he ducked down at the right moment. Well done, you. And again, if we're able... No, nope. no, nope, it's not happening. Okay, we need to be on the move. Let's get out of here. Okay, there are enemies on our base. Capping it as we speak. There is also an enemy down there. That I can try and do a little damage to. But I am going down, I am afraid. If I can just keep my hover blades... No, I've lost them already. Wow. Uh, come on, roll the right way. You know what? The one time you don't flip up is the one time I wanted you to. How ironic. Uh, about there, I think. Oh, missed my last chance, I imagine. Now there. Oh, Drax. And that is it for me. Well, this could have gone better. 
Could have gone a lot better, really. But, uh, Orkskin, you are still alive. I can only hope that you live on to tell of the brave deeds, though fatal they may have been, of your teammates. Uh, alas. We got one kill, though. Four scouts and got 15,000 RP for it. That's not too terribly bad. I think we should jump into another battle straight away. Let's actually check on the uh, tier 9 leaderboard. Lathred is just above me. Wow. Right. You know what? Let's um, press... Let's go up a little bit with F7 and see who's at the very top. 1F, Jeff! My lord, man! You're in third position at tier 9. Isdar is in fourth. Well played, Jeff. Well played indeed. Let's check out tier 10. Uh, actually, I'm not too bad in tier 10. I'm the fourth highest in tier 10 with 8 million. Where's Jeff in tier 10? Is he on? Is he in tier 10 yet? I wonder. Uh, he might not be in tier 10 yet. Because uh, yeah, I can't imagine if he'd be in tier 10 with zero ranking. But... Uh, Okay, well, I, clearly I need to uh, keep my eyes up. Jeff did mention that he had been playing a lot more recently. Uh, scallywags above me. This cannot be allowed to stand. Right, we are going to jump into another battle, but... Mm, you know what? Let's, let's wrap this episode up with a challenge. Now, this could go awry. I've had some negative experience with the challenge mode namely if you're in a platoon it just didn't seem to work um we tried you know one of the streams and it just wasn't going anywhere so i imagine i'm largely going to be doing this solo but the nice thing with challenges is it will fill out the 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 actual boss platoon you will have four well, challengers against 12 lower tier bots. And it'll always be four. It'll always fill it out. If there is a platoon, and if it's not a four-player platoon, it'll find someone else to fill the gaps. But it just doesn't seem to quite work well with the uh, with, with platoons. But as we can see, we can see how many challengers are in the, uh, the queue. And it looks like we're going to be fighting against 12 tier fives. There are now four challengers, so I can't imagine it's going to be too long before we get into this fight. I don't anticipate too much to be perfectly honest many people have uh, commented that it, it it's very much in favor of the uh, the other bots rather than the four challenges even though we've got two t8s and two t9s good luck have fun all we'll uh, let the countdown go down just a little bit before we do that but you noticed that there are some challenges who uh, take uh, ch challenges that take place in tier two I imagine those are the tier 6 challenges being put into tier 2. Now, with challenge, it does have a wait time of about 3 or 4 hours, I believe. Right. Said, so wait for them to come to us. Okay, I'm perfectly alright with this. I'll reverse and I will uh, hang around here. We'll see how this goes. I'll uh, be moving with you. But the only problem is, is, they are coming from far away. I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, actually, Razor Clash, I'm going to move with you, actually. You seem to know what you're doing. You're backing out of this arena. Very well. I guess that is a bit of a killing zone. Ooh, okay. Molak has never lost the challenge. That's quite the claim. I imagine that means that if this is a loss, it's going to be my fault. It certainly wouldn't be Molak, though. Because Molag has never lost a challenge. Can't argue with statistics like that. Well done. You managed to take someone out with... Uh, oh dear, I am being... Someone is trying to snipe me. I don't like it. Moving away from there. Thank you, but no. You can still see me though, can you? Well, that's not so good. What's out, Razor? They are going to get you. We're going to hang around though. We've already lost a lot on that bot though. Okay, one is going down. Razor is out there. He's fighting. All right, it's time for me to move. Someone is trying to snipe me. And no. Hopefully. Let's uh, be on the move. We've got a uh, SMG there. I'm probably not going to do enough damage to really warrant the amount of damage I'm going to take by being out here. And there as well. There we go. We've got an interceptor coming up for me. Bad times. Got one down. Okay, we've still got my harbor blades. I'm still in this. But I won't be if those rails manage to hit me. Oh, dear lord. Hello. See if I can't uh, finish you off. Possibly not. We have no medic, which is not good. Let's uh, stay down here. If I... St ah, that bloody rotor. Okay, let's just plant ourselves on the ground. 
I hope they kill that rota for me. That would be the best thing they could do. Okay, someone's being healed. There's a medic that I need to kill. And it is important that I do this. In my mind, this is the best thing that I could do for my team. Hello, down there. We have not done nearly enough damage. I have not... They've not taken out the rota that I want them to destroy. They're destroying other things. They've taken out one of my harbor blades. Drat. Let's try and stay away from that ledge. Someone has got a bead on me, and they are definitely going to be trying to take me out. Not liking it. But there is a war of attrition, and the enemy have got medics we do not. It's as simple as that. Molag is getting out there, doing some damage. Well done, Molag. It's, uh, I'm, I'm so uneven now. Molag is doing well. Okay, let's uh, keep on the move. There's a plasma copter. We've got an interceptor over here. And about there. Bingo! Perfect shot. Didn't take him out of the sky, though, which is not good. About there. No, that is, he's far too far away now. Okay, we need to try and get rid of you if we can. You are taking a spin. Nope, that's not going to do it. I need to uh, keep sight for Molag. Okay, the interceptor's just over there. If he comes around this corner, I could be in trouble. But I need to try and bring my uh, weapons to bear to help Molag. Nope, Molag is doing fine. Well, Molag, you are living up to your uh, claim so far. We have one enemy, and if I'm able to kill him, I'll be very impressed. I was able to help. Good game. Well done, Molag. You led us to victory there. Well done indeed. It was just a matter of waiting for the enemy to come to us, as Molag said. And we got out of that with a kill. So, 1,178 CPU destroyed. 314 in defense, 87 in protection. One kill to assist, one scout. 34,887 RP and 18 Tech 9. Uh, sorry, Tier 9 Tech points. Pretty happy with that. In fact, that should be enough for us to unlock something. We could unlock those airfoils, those legs. Mm, none of those really jump out to me. Anything around here I want? Uh, we can't quite afford that. At this stage, I'm just basically trying to uh, flesh out my tech tree, really. Nothing that I could unlock, I really want to. Uh, we'll go with the aerofiles, though. There we go. Fantastic. We are making progress, little by little. But uh, that is it for this episode. We entered a challenge, we won the challenge, though uh, we certainly didn't do amazingly well in it, to be perfectly honest. But... Uh, to uh, show you how much time it would take. It's about four hours per challenge, which, you know, is quite a reasonable um, time timer there. The the 48 hours that boss battles used to have was pretty pretty silly, really, in my opinion. I understand why they did it, though. So, you know, the, the, it wasn't done just uh, arbitrarily. There, there was a good server-related reason to it, but it did make boss battles that kind of... It was very easy to forget about them because you couldn't play them too often. But that is going to be it for this episode and it from me. So uh, I do hope you liked the episode. I hope you'll be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.